life and traumas that I've even experienced growing up, you know, with the absentee father and, you know, certain different, certain things that I just grew up around that have shaped my perception about life, about love, about God, about everything. And it's just now the past couple of months that I'm really seeing the impact that it has on every relationship that I'm in from the most intimate relationship with my husband to the most, I guess, associate type relationship with just straight. Good day guys. I know it has been a while. I know we have been MIA, but life has been moving, but that's still no excuse. No excuse. <laughs> I'm learning to vlog through life. Alright? So please be patient with me, but I'm back. <laughs> I, always, I think I always say that, but yeah, I'm really back from the room. So, today, um, I don't have much to do, but I was like, let me just pick up the camera anyway. And husband, my husband was like, Terry, you should maybe pick up the camera. So I was like, alright. But, um, I am about to get the girls ready because, let me take this water off. I'm actually washing dishes, but I can wait. And your dad left you. Look at my daughter, y'all. <laughs> so her father lets her out on the patio. But leaves her. Where you going at? And she's trying to get some water because she has a little water table. But she's trying to. Can we got to clean that water table out. My cousins, I thought, were supposed to come over here because... Okay, yeah, y'all don't, don't even know if y'all know, but um, my cousin from Maryland, he relocated down here to Georgia. So he was staying with us for a little bit, and his family just got here this weekend. So, um, come on. So they were supposed to come over, but they're not here because he works with our company. Come on. Come on. Okay. And so they're. My, you know, all right, sorry guys, the camera had, I mean not the camera went dead, but um, the memory card was too full, so I had to put in another memory card. But anyway, yeah, my cousins, I thought they were coming over here, but they're not here, because they didn't come with, uh, like my cousin's family didn't come with him to work today, so I'm assuming they're not coming. Um, but I have to um, take Kenzie to the doctor, She's not sick or anything. I just have to take her because she's going to be in speech. And, um, yeah, so we have to get a referral from her pediatrician to get her a speech appointment. And I know some of you are thinking, like, Tier, weren't you a speech therapist? I know, I know, I know. But let me tell you guys, she does not work well with me. <laughs> So I'm like, it's no point of me trying to like force therapy on her because I still got a lot of materials. I got a lot of stuff that I can work with her on, but she's just not, she won't work with me. So I'm, I just rather take her somewhere where she'll be with somebody outside of me. But I know we haven't even really given y'all a tour of the house. Um, one, I haven't because I haven't finished decorating. However, then I realized, here, when are you really going to be finished decorating? Isn't this like an ongoing process? So, <laughs> do y'all hear her, y'all? She is back there on me. It's back there screaming her lungs off. Like something is really going on with her, and nothing is wrong. She is not pooped. She's not hungry. It's like she's reverting to this phase. Like the past couple of weeks. And I don't know if it's because she's teething or what, but like she has been like turning up and she's typically like really calm and chill, but she's like, and she can go like yesterday I was just like, my mom was just blown. I'm like, like, so you just really gonna scream like this the entire time? Are like you gonna wind down just a little bit, but guess not. So we're on our way to the doctor. I don't even think there's any point in talking much because. Let me see if I can get that. I don't even 
don't know if y'all can see her, but I'll talk to you later. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> y'all, it's just been so crazy. Like, another thing, another little update is. Okay, so y'all know my, I, I just had a baby. Well, I can't even say I just had a baby. I had a baby. I me mean, literally just turned six months. And so, I've been like really self-conscious about my mommy body. Like, after Kenzie, I feel like it took me, no, it took me about the same amount of time, about six or seven months to like slim back down and, okay. What do you have to say? What do you want to say? Okay, you got Cheetos all over your face. Look at that, Cheetos. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was, it took me a while and I was, I was working out. Like I was doing kickboxing classes and everything to slim back down. But I feel like the second pregnancy really took like a bit, a larger toll on my body. Like as far as my core, my stomach was much bigger than it was with Kenzie. So, um, which made sense because Ami was almost a pound and a half bigger than Kenzie. But, um, yeah, so I've been like really self-conscious about it and, but even with the self-consciousness I don't think I've been doing things I haven't been actively trying to do anything about it outside of semi monitoring monitoring, monitoring um, what I eat but as far as working out like just truly not having if, if I don't have the this I'm just not having a discipline honestly like I'm not even gonna give myself no excuse because I can hire a babysitter to come in here to watch the kids so that's not even an excuse. Stop messing with the light. Oops, you all right? So, um, yeah, it's really just not having the discipline. And I know myself, like, I'm not the person that could just go to the gym. I won't do it consistently. And I also know that um, I can't, like, I can do the classes like I did the kickboxing class and I was consistent in that for a, a certain time period. I need somebody that's gonna be on me that I know are, are, is going to expect for me to be there like yeah I need that it's, it's for right now where I'm at we're working out and trying to get my body back and we're not get my, get my body back because obviously I had two children it's not gonna be exactly the same but to slim down and to get my core together so we hired me a personal trainer <laughs> yeah so we got a personal trainer um and I must see her two times a week starting tomorrow uh, she actually attends our church, so that was like really nice, and I'm excited to start working out. And and I like that because I can tell her exactly the type of results I want, and she can tailor a plan for me rather than me just trying to figure it out or like going to a class and kind of it being more general. I like that it'll be more specific, and then I know she gonna be waiting for me, so it ain't like oh I ain't gonna be in class, but you know a couple of people might not see me, but ain't nobody gonna miss me. I know. You know, um, she's gonna be expecting me. Not to mention, it ain't cheap. So, <laughs> like, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then what I found about myself as far as working out, when I'm typically working out, that that encourages me to eat better. Cause it's like, I'm not a person that likes to waste. So I ain't about to waste no full workout for nothing. So, I started that tomorrow, I'm excited about that. I gave myself a goal because another thing I'm not sure I don't even think we told y'all but our five year anniversary is coming up and we're going to Aruba so and we're going to be in Aruba for like a week and a half yeah we're going to be there for a while so um I give myself that that time to kind of lose a certain amount of weight like realistically with the schedule that I have so that's starting tomorrow yeah say hey I'm back up Look who's here, guys. Oh. What up, what up? Yeah. This, now, this is the one that says I, I don't vlog anymore. Yeah. But don't ever want to help quit. me vlog. Don't quit vlogging. You got a new house and everything. But he does not, as new you baby. can see. How you, your viewers even know who you are anymore? This is Tier, the new vlogger. Um. Uh, you want to introduce yourself to you, I guess? This is the same guy that won't help vlog, though. My hands. So what about your hands? I can't hold the camera this way. So you, you look crazy. 
Yeah, yeah. You be trying to go up, and do the thing, or we chilling today? Oh, that's what it is. Cause you know, I'm, I'm down for either. Yeah. I can. Good morning, guys. <laughs> um, yesterday we did not really do much. So when I the last time I had vlogged, we had um went out to go look at houses. No, we're not trying to buy any more houses. But we does just something like that we like to do. Just go look at other houses um, around the area. So. But right now, hold on Ken, right now, I'm trying to get the girls ready because my cousin is going to take care of them for the day while I go run my errands, which include, but not limited to, hold on. Ken, stay up here, baby, daddy working. Um, what do I have to do? I have to, one, I have to go meet with my personal trainer. And then I have therapy. Yes, guys, I am in therapy. Praise God for therapy. <laughs> um, it's a therapist. It's like she's a therapist, uh, but she attends my church as well. So, and the way I see therapy, hold on, y'all. Hey, come back, Mackenzie. Come back. Thank you. Um, it's like let me put y'all right here. Well, y'all can't see me then, but I feel like therapy is like a therapist. I feel like everybody should have a therapist. <laughs> Just like you got a dentist, a doctor. Now this girl do not be listening. Do I need to take the iPad? Mm -hmm. Okay, then stay up here. Um, but yeah, so I go. I have a therapy session today as well. So right after I go work out, I am going to. Go to my therapist. Well, I'm gonna come home, take a shower, and then go right back out to my therapist. Shut. No, not really. I can't. Well, you was vlogging. Vlogging. <laughs> I already told him about you. Say hi, Kenya. What you say? Okay, so this is my cousin. This is the set. Thank you. That thing looks brighter than my house. The lighting from the camera yeah. catches it. It's awesome, right? It is the bomb. Yeah. So. Y'all saw Kania before in the la in the other vlog from when we had went to Maryland. She was the one that she was the one that did my hair, and they're here down in Georgia now. All right, all right this is really going to the computer. Okay. <laughs> she was all right, just as shy as you did last time. So yes, they are here, and she's actually taking care of the kids, which is super clutch. I love them because she loves the babies, and they love her too, right, Ami? <laughs> Even though Ami turned Ami all the way it. up again, halfway here, cried the entire time to the top of her lungs, like I did. When you look at this vlog, it's another part in the vlog from yesterday when I went, took him to the doctor. She was screaming just like that. Oh, I mean, to in the, the top. Car? Of, yes, I don't, it's the car. I don't what know. Hey, she said they've been talking about her. Hey, Ami. They know me. Hey. hey. You see oh, yourself. <laughs> but yeah, so they are here. And we are excited to be here. Yes, they are down in Georgia. And I'm getting them unpacked. All their diapers. You said white. I left wipes here, right, Dana? Yeah. Okay, so all their diapers, pull ups. I was going to leave the iPad, change the clothes. I was going to leave the iPad for Kizzy. And so if y'all want to give it to us, I got a charger. Toys for Ami to chew on, but I came early so that we can pray. Okay. So we just gonna pray. Cause I, I think the gym is like, mm -hmm. how far is the gym from here? Like 35, 40 minutes? And it might, it's at 12 o'clock, 45. Oh, okay. So the, I don't know what time of day I did that though. Okay, so then y'all need to check the time. Cause the gym is at 12, so I gotta drive from here there. Which one's good? Okay, this one was left in the car, so I gotta wash this out. Yeah, it's a hey right there. Are you filming? Like they hit. Hi. Hi guys, it's me and Lauren. Back with another video. Yes, I think her dress is going backwards, but it'll be all right. <laughs> it's just like. So yeah, Raina Rose and Lauren down in Georgia. And we can't forget Bryce. Say hello. 
Hi, Bryce. Well, I told you, I told you once I woke you up too. Yeah, I know. And Kenzie apparently loves dogs, but her father is not gonna allow her to have one, so that's just not gonna not gonna happen. So yeah. Hi guys, I just finished um, my workout and that junk, y'all. It was super intense, but it was good. Like I feel good, um, and I'm excited that this is gonna be like a routine. Um, to be honest, like. Y'all, I don't know how to do a squat. I don't know how to do a squat. I don't know how to do a squat correctly. And so we spent the first maybe just 15, 20 minutes just teaching me how to do a freaking squat. Like I'm about to fall over my balance. Like you can tell from my pregnancy that my like stature is still off. And so we were working on that um, and just doing some weight training and then uh, food plan as far as like what to cut out we also did like this I got on this machine and it basically told me like all of my water weight it just told me all the information I needed to know about my body and um it was an eye opener it was a good eye opener because it was just like you know what no I gotta really be serious about this because according to my plan I'm to lose at least 20 pounds um, and so, and that's around the, that's around the amount of weight I wanted to lose anyway. But I never honestly thought it was realistic. <laughs> but um, based off of our plan, um, it's definitely definitely realistic. So I'm excited for this um, weight loss journey and lifestyle change because I'm not I'm not a good dieter, and so I'm I know it has to be a lifestyle change. So there are certain things that I know that just need to be cut out and then there are also certain things that I know I have to wing myself off from. But um um and for some for those of you who are thinking Tierra, what are you in therapy for? Like I said in um yesterday, I really think therapists are essential. Um I think that it was so stigmatized in the African American community for so long. Yeah, it was so stigmatized for so long that, you know, a lot of us never got it. But to be honest, <laughs> we need it. <laughs> a lot of us need it. And um, there are just certain things in my life and traumas that I've even experienced growing up, you know, with the absentee father and, you know, certain different certain things that I just grew up around that have shaped my perception about life, about love, about God, about everything. And it's just now the past couple of months that I'm really seeing the impact that it has on every relationship that I'm in from the most intimate relationship with my husband to the most I guess associate type relationship with just strangers like it has impacted all of that and so that's it was like okay I need to be talking to somebody and I need somebody to help me navigate this navigate how to deal with these hurts that I may have put in the back of my head for so long that I'm not even in tune with and y'all when I'm telling you that this junk has been real it has been digging up some stuff that I did not know was there but I saw the manifestation of it being there and how I was relational with people especially with my husband so I yes I go to therapy I'm loving it I would suggest and I told my mom I said like y'all everybody needs to go to therapy for real because we have so much that we come into relationships with whether it's friendships especially marriage guys like now like now what now that I am in counseling um I'm seeing how much like therapy should have been like almost like a mandatory thing even before I, we got married because you know both Sar and I have had you know different things happen in our childhood every person has that you just grew up with and certain perceptions and mindsets that you have they are not biblical or um are also not um are not good for a healthy relationship and so it's so important to deal with those things prior to marriage prior to any true intimate relationship like it's so important like i suggest that to all my friends who are dating and who like desire to be in a relationship like do your self-work because now i'm doing self-work and i thank god for it but i can see the benefit of it doing of you doing it before you get married rather than when you get married um so yeah i am 
headed to therapy. Um, I had a homework assignment. I did the homework assignment for that. So that's an hour long and then I'm gonna head back. Head back home, no. Yeah, head back home. I wanna get my nails done while Kania has the girls cause it's kinda tough for me to do that type of stuff outside of the weekend. So I'm gonna get that done as well and then head home and lay down until we go get our baby curls. Um, but I will see you guys at the therapy. Go get yourself a therapist. Bye. <laughs>